Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, my mother-in-law is in the kitchen again with me. And today she's sharing with you all her recipe for Chinese style chicken. And she's also sharing her recipe for her famous sauce. So if you guys would like to see how to make Chinese chicken, mom's version. Let me jump straight into the recipe to show you how easy this is to put together. So to start this recipe, we have our chicken that we already washed and cleaned. And to that, she's adding in ginger, minced garlic, Black pepper goes in next. Now she's going to go in with Chinese salt or Chinese seasoning salt. She's using five spice powder and Chinese seasoning salt here. If you guys don't have the Chinese seasoning salt, I do have a recipe on my channel for it. I'll link it below so you all can check that out. Now she doesn't put any additional salt when she makes this, but if you wanted to, you can add, I would say up to one teaspoon. Don't add anything more than that for this 10 pounds of chicken. Now she likes to go in with some turmeric. She likes the color that it gives. And now I'm going to go in and help her mix everything in. She told me, mix it really well and make sure and get all of that seasoning and put it under the skin. She was very particular with how I was um, seasoning her chicken. So she said, rub it re really, really well. And while I was mixing it, she thought that it was not yellow enough for her liking. So she went in with some extra turmeric. So the adjusted measurements would be in the description box. So she made me put it all under the skin because you want it to get into the flesh of the meat and really soak into that meat. After you've done doing that, you see how yellow it looks? Next, I'm going to take my chicken pieces and place it into a big bowl. I want to use a really narrow bowl so we can stack it one on top of the other. And make sure and save all of that marinade guys that's in there it's going to continue to flavor your chicken pieces now although we're using leg and thigh you can use the whole chicken you can use wings you can use breasts you can use whatever you would like so next you're going to cover this and we're going to store it in our fridge overnight The following day, we'll take it out of the fridge, allow it to come to room temperature and then go ahead and start frying it. I didn't have to dip it in anything. She wanted me to fry it as is. So I'm putting my chicken pieces and it's going to take about 20-25 minutes because the leg and thigh is really, really big. So I'm going to let that fry until it's golden brown. Flip it, let the other side fry. And if you guys wanted to bake this, of course you can. You're gonna bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes. When your chicken is golden and it's nice and crisp, you want to make sure that that skin cooks really well and it's nice and crispy. When it's done, take them out and you're going to drain them on your paper towel. So at this point, when you're finished frying your chicken, you can cut it up into smaller pieces, but she actually leaves, just cuts it in half, the leg separate from the thigh and leaves it whole like that. 
but feel free to cut it up if you like so now she's going to make her sauce and her sauce is made really differently guys she's adding some oil into a frying pan and into the frying pan she's adding in some sliced onions she's going to allow the onions to cook until they're light brown in color so you just want to soften the onions but not brown it too much Once the onions start to soften, add in sweet peppers and she's going to let it cook for like one minute. She didn't let it cook for too long because she wanted to maintain the crunch on the sweet peppers. So let that go for one minute and once it's finished, you're going to empty it out into another bowl and set that aside. To the same frying pan, you don't have to wash it, we're going in with water. Now she made a lot of sauce. You guys can make half of this. To that water, she added in oyster sauce or oyster flavored sauce. Next goes in some yellow mustard. And yeah, I thought the mustard was weird too, but when I eat her chicken, it does taste really good. So, I mean, she does know what she's doing. So she's mixing that in and I'm helping her by adding in some ginger. In goes some light soy sauce. If you use a dark soy sauce, this sauce is going to get really, really dark. So try to use the Kiki Oman green bottle soy sauce. In goes culinary and this is her sauce guys, so don't hate on her sesame oil but i will not lie to tell you guys how awesome this sauce is so allow it to come up to a simmer and she's going to allow it to continue to cook i added in some black pepper and continue to cook it's going to reduce quite a bit now i'm adding in the cornstarch slurry and we're going to start whisking that in because we don't want it to be lumpy so once it has been whisked in and the sauce gets a thick, so you're looking for this velvety consistency and it has reduced considerably. Now I'm going to empty this into a sauce mug and set that aside. What you're going to do now is take the cooked onions and peppers and put it all over your chicken. So you see the pieces, she just separated the leg from the thigh. As I said, if you guys wanted to cut the chicken into smaller pieces, feel free to. Next goes on some scallions, or as we say in Trinidad, scythe. Not chives, chives is something totally different. And now I'm drizzling on the sauce. Now this is how she likes to serve it. If you want to serve the sauce separately, you can. Where making some muttered Chinese chicken <laughs> but it's really really good so she made me pour all of the sauce over the chicken and that was it all I did now was plate and I enjoyed this chicken especially with the crunch from the sweet peppers gave it a really nice crunchy fresh element so guys if you enjoyed this recipe comment and let us know down below thank you all so much for watching we hope you try it please remember to like share and subscribe and we'll see you in our other video bye